Okay, we're going to make some spine templates here. So I'll just right up here. Oops, I don't like that. Let's make that a different color. Spine templates. And the first one will be the same template as we're using in the example I'm uh, we're making. This will be five by five inches high, five point five inches high, and one inch wide. And we're going to put in some the spine lines. You will use your uh, triangle. Uh, mine will not be as neat as yours is. This is for the purposes of just explaining this in another way for another kind of learner. So, remembering that this needs to be one. That's not good. Let's call this one half inch from the top and one half inch from the bottom. Okay, so let's get our stage sewing stations in here. So again we can do one here. Let me make that a little wider. Okay. So we have one there, one there, that's right at one half, and we'll put that one down here and that one down here. So let's repeat that on this line too. Okay, and let me choose another color here to sort of show you that... Uh, these two lines two and four will have they'll be placed sort of in the center and the same thing over here Probably should have placed these a little further apart, but that's okay. You get the idea. As long as you get the idea. So let's go back and I'll, I'll number these down at the bottom here. And this part may really seem a little counterintuitive to you, but this will be for the first signature. This is the second. This is the third, and this is the fourth. So there's one template that you could use. Let's just spice it up here and try a different one. Let's say this is going to be three, a smaller book with three signatures and you could do them all really long. You could put that in more centered and this out to long again. Let's try one more here. Let's make this one really chunky. Okay change the color again and let's do six on this one one two three four five six 
and remembering with each of these that you want that one half inch at the top and bottom. One half inch from the top and tail. And let's go in and add some piercing stations that might be a little fun and a little different. So let's give this two long ones. And they can be, you know, relatively even spaced. But these two, the stitch will be longer. So that stitch will go from here to here and here to here. Okay. Let's go back to placing some more signatures here. Some more piercing stations here. You could have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you could do um, this really long one again. Or it could even be here and here. They don't have to match up completely. I'd say as long as you're staggering them, just have some fun with making, designing the spine of your book. That's sort of half the fun of this. Leave that one there, and that one there, and that one there. And let's just take a look at this, what this might look like. with your threads on it. You have thread here, you have thread here, here, and these threads will be wrapped or beaded any way you want to do them. Okay, so there's some samples of different spines that could be fun to use. And you can certainly draw your own.